Try the same as trailer sailors, I've now got two. Hmm. I, uh, I just picked up this one today. It's another Coronet 20, um, or as you know, guys in Australia know them as the Sunmade 20. And it was a great buy, man. I, I come on trade me and I saw it and I was like, yeah, I'll have that. And I rang the guy and I said, buy it straight away. And I picked it up this morning. It's got a nice trailer. It's got some work to do, um, mainly cleaning. It's all here. There's a couple of bits of floor. That side's a bit thin. I need to replace. Isn't this lovely, though? I love how it's got those curtains. I jump out and then shine the um, thing on um, from the outside because you'll get a bit better view. All five glass, of course. This is going to clean up real nice. This is kind of the before video, really. Um, I will clean this boat up. Um, and it's just here at home. So you can see really like the cabin on these. Good cabin, eh? For a 20-foot trailer sailor. No wonder they're so popular. Well laid out. Good cockpit. I like the backrests. Good winches. What a hoot mix scoot. I'll show you the rest of it. It's called Sunburst. Cool name. So original. Yeah, this boat's only had one owner. I'm the second owner. How cool is that? The second owner of a 1970s trailer sailor. That's so choice. That's so choice, eh? Yeah, Yahoo, man. Yahoo. Look at the trailer. The trailer's real mint as well. Oh, that's just cracking. I bet you if I say, I'm going to keep this boat, you'll be like, yeah, right. <laughs> Fair enough. But, um, but I'm going to keep it for a while. I'm going to um, tidy it up. It's not that much. It's just a cleaning, replacing a few of those floorboards. And, um, yeah. But, hey, why I've got you, come and have another nose at this. Because I've got this on me, and it's just shocking to me that it hasn't sold. This is at the other end of our section. It's the little Van Diemen. It's really quite a different boat, isn't it? Some people looked in the weekend, but they thought the trailer was a bit, needed a bit of work. To be fair, fair people wise, after something that doesn't need anything, which is a bit unrealistic when you come to boats that have been kicking around for 50 years, but that's life. Um, even well, I think even when they knew they needed some maintenance, um, and the trailer's not that bad, but anyway, um, let's have a quick, isn't this a lovely boat too, it's really different being on this, the other one, it's a lot flatter, but this is also of course a lot faster, um, and I'm just shocked, stunned and amazed, no one's bought this yet, um, I just dropped the price to 2,100 bucks, which is just amazing. It'll be interesting to go in this right after I've just been in the coronet. Yeah, the size difference is, you know, it's quite noticeable from one to the other. You know, when you go in like that, yeah, that's quite noticeable. I've just put a new winch. I'm uh, yet to bolt it down. Um, this, I've got this on because it leaks a bit around the hatch in the rain. Well, I'd like this one to sell now. I'll probably do these bolts this afternoon. Just got to um, put them on a net, put a few washers, bolt that down, and then I'll give it a brand new winch, which is really the only thing that was sort of wrong with this boat. And um, it could be good to go sailing then, which will be just awesome. Hopefully somebody buys it. Half tempted to bloody flog the electrical system out of it for the other one, because I really like that system with the two batteries um, that go in. I mean, that's just absolutely awesome. Anyway, that's my life at the moment. Two trailer sailors, busy doing caravans, and um, but you know, I'm not going to complain. I hope everyone else out there as well. It's been a bit of a quiet year for us so far, but it's um, it's been a fun mucking around with boats. So, no worries. Hope you're all well. Bye.